Hello there guys, so not that long ago I made a video about Avalanche uh, main token AVAX and it's sort of like a price movement analysis for the last 180 days with the sort of like uh, idea of checking whether the sort of like idea that there is the sort of like one best day when the price is highest and one sort of like a lowest day or when the price is lowest within the week uh, for some of those tokens whether it is actually true and at least for avalanche uh, as from what it seems from all the sort of like a price trackings and stuff like that it seems to be the case for the most part for the sundays so i decided to do literally the same for bnb token uh, for Binance Smart Chain BNB, uh, which is which is uh, something like three times larger than the actual Avalanche, now trading at around three hundred eighty-four dollars. So basically, once again, I just wanted the Coin Gecko, and I collected uh, prices, sort of like around the highest, lowest prices for every single day for the last one hundred eighty days uh, to potentially potentially see what I can find. So as you can see on the left, once again, the dates, uh, days of the week, prices in the red, worst days, in the green, best days. And as you can see, there is literally like 180 days. As you can see, everything starts with uh, February 20th or so, Sunday. And basically, yeah, uh, from Monday till Sunday, from Monday till Sunday, and that's all there is to it. So what I found, and these basically two sort of like a diagrams, is that uh, the upper one, uh, best worst days, including the duplicates. And duplicates, what I mean by that is that it is including, let's say, within the same week, if the worst price is $400, and let's say there is $400 on, let's say, Saturday and Thursday, so this sort of like a upper upper diagram would include both of them so it would have one extra point on Saturday one extra point on Thursday with that being said as you can see so best days the highest per prices or on this on this set day uh, per week worst days the lowest price per week so as you can see in the diagram above uh, basically uh, it, uh, BNB, BNB as it is, it doesn't really have the sort of like a most dominant day for the highest price of the week. Uh, unlike unlike Avalanche token, that is mostly dominant from what it seems on Sundays uh, with the highest prices on during that day. Uh, BNB uh, seems to be sort of like a indifferent in a sense. Monday, Wednesday. Sunday, Friday, and so on, so on. Now, when it comes about the worst days, the sort of like interesting part, Avalanche haven't really had the sort of like a worst day. It was it was sort of like either uh, Tuesdays or Thursdays and stuff like that. Now, BNB, from what it seems, it does have its worst day of the week when the price is actually the lowest. And as you can see, uh, from basically these numbers, like one number for the good price uh, for the week, one bad number for the price of the week. So out of those 25 weeks or so that I collected information from, from nine days were literally on Tuesdays when it comes about the worst prices. And basically, you know, the good prices are sort of like indifferent, more or less the same. But the worst prices, the worst sort of like a possible prices that happen, if, if that happens, usually happens on Tuesdays from what it seems. Now, uh, the bottom diagram, uh, once again, I included sort of like a duplicates, there were some duplicates, but instead I marked them as a half points. So in the sense of that there is two duplicates, then uh, each of the days gets a half a point. If there is three duplicates, uh, they'll get a 0 0.33 point, and so on, so on, so on. So once again, um, no sort of like a dominance in terms of positivity in terms of negativity uh, the most the most dominant once again it's Tuesdays um, most positive ones are on Fridays uh, that are followed by Saturday it's sa Saturdays or even Tuesday so let's say basically you could say that for the most part these sort of like a waves that happen, they start to build up from around Wednesdays, um, maybe late Tuesdays, then they build up till Friday, and then and then later on everything either crashes on around Sunday or later on in Tuesday.
Now at the same time, uh, the sort of like a price differences each week uh, between the highest and the lowest prices you can see uh, for all 25 weeks. Now one thing I will say, uh, they are not as radical as with the Avalanche chain. Uh, Avalanche coin uh, had minimum price differences each week from the highest price and the lowest price anywhere from 15% all the way to 53%. Looking at BNB, uh, from what I can see, the sort of like a lowest lowest changes that happened were around 4%, highest 30%, once to no 38%. So in the sense, in the sense, it's not, uh, it doesn't have these sort of like extreme radical differences, uh, but yeah. And as you can see, average change in price, uh, the sort of like average difference in price every single week on BNB, you could say the difference in between the highest price and the lowest price on average is 14%. And uh, that's all there is to it. So yeah, now as usual, anything I say is not a financial advice, uh, it is my personal opinion only, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for your time today.